How's it going folks? In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the 2020 27 inch 5K iMac from the base model eight gigabytes of RAM to a whopping 128 gigabytes of RAM. And you can do so and save tons of money. I'm talking $2,000 in the process. Check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, folks, so here it is, the 2020 5K iMac. I do have a full review of this machine in the works. Uh, thumbs up if you wanna see that. Let me know down below in the comment section as well. But in this video, I wanna talk about RAM because as you guys know, Apple's RAM prices are downright ridiculous. They've been that way for years. So here is the base model 5K iMac with eight gigabytes of RAM and it comes with two four gigabyte SODIM modules pre-installed. Now, if you go to your favorite online retailer and search for the same exact type of RAM, SODIM module, DDR4, 2666 memory, you're gonna find that the prices are way cheaper than what Apple charges. For instance, this right here, 128 gigabytes for a mere $600. So that's the exact configuration I'm going to be using right now in this video. So I have 64 gigabytes here, I have another 64 gigabytes here for a total of 128 gigabytes. Now, let's see how much Apple charges for this same amount of RAM. Your eyes do not deceive you. Yes, Apple is charging $2,600 to add 128 gigabytes of RAM, taking your $1,800 machine to $4,400. So obviously that's a lot of money. Now that's on the extreme end, but even if you're not upgrading to the 128, say you're upgrading to 16, you're gonna save $130 roughly. Say you're upgrading to 32, 470 or 64, you're gonna save 730 bucks. So regardless of what configuration you're picking, it's best to purchase your RAM after the fact. Please don't pay Apple for memory upgrades. Just wanna put that out there. Unless you just don't care and you don't feel like going through this 10 minute process at the most, please don't pay Apple for memory upgrades. So the first thing you wanna do is place a towel down on a flat surface so that you can rest your iMac down display first. That allows you access to the RAM door. Now the RAM door is accessible by pressing this little button which hides right above the power socket. So I'm just gonna use my Apple Pencil, it's not a sharp object just to press down here and eject this RAM door right here which is held in place via friction. So we're just gonna press and there we go. So it opens up just like that. You can just pull the door off. And that gives us easy access to the four SO DIMM slots inside. So now we need to eject the pre-installed RAM. So we're gonna take these two tabs and press them outwardly like this. So just press out and let it pop up like that. And that gives you access to the two RAM modules inside. Since I have the base model, I have two four gigabyte SO DIMM modules inside. So just gonna lift up just like this and pull those out. Probably should use two hands for this, but I didn't want to block the view. I'm going to use two hands to do this now so I can pull straight up. And there we go. So you want to hang on to these memory modules just in case you need service on your Mac or you want to sell your Mac in the future and keep the RAM you already have. You can just place these back in there and put it back to stock configuration. All right, so we have four blank SO DIMM slots ready to go. So we can use our OWC memory or whatever memory you purchased and quickly perform this simple and easy upgrade. So before inserting each RAM module, you wanna make sure that the little notch is on the left hand side like that. Okay, so now let's talk about the slot configuration. This is how it's laid out. So I've basically color coded so you can see slot one is at the top, slot two, second, slot three, and so on, right? So the pre-installed RAM is installed in slot two and slot four, channel A and channel B for DIM zero. And as you can see, it gives you full speed memory, 2666 megahertz. Now, if I mix and match different sizes of RAM and I use that same slot configuration, it actually drops the speed down to 2133. But notice what happens if I change the configuration. I install the four gigabyte modules in the first two slots and the two 32 gigabyte modules in the last two slots 2666 full speed, right? So that's just something to keep in mind if you're mixing and matching memory sizes. You may have to rearrange the location of your RAM modules to get the full 2666 megahertz. But if you're taking my advice and you're using all the same memory modules like I'm doing here, I'm using four 
OWC 2666 SODEM modules, then the order that you install these in shouldn't really matter because they're all exactly the same. So as you can see, I have the notch on the left hand side and I'm simply lining up those memory modules and inserting them, adding a little force when I press them down, make sure they kind of click into place. Just like that. And now you just press the lever back up, make sure it locks into place. And that's it. Now you just use the little cover. Again, this is a, a friction based cover. So you just line it up and press down and it'll close like that. Now you're done. That's all there is to it. The memory upgrade is completed. Now we do have to boot our machine first, of course, to make sure it does boot up. If you notice any problems during boot up, you might want to check to make sure you fully inserted the RAM modules. But here, I'm pretty sure we're going to be good. Once you boot up for the first time after switching around your RAM, it is going to initialize the memory. So you may see a black screen for an extended period of time before the Apple logo shows up. So let's go to about this Mac and there you go. 432 gigabyte modules, 2666 megahertz. You can see 128 gigabytes. So I have tons of headroom to run multiple applications, but not just that. Notice the difference in Geekbench score. So here it is with just the eight gigabytes. 5722 multi-core score and notice 6567 multi-core score with 128 gigabytes of RAM. So you get improved CPU performance as well. So folks, don't pay two grand to upgrade to 128 gigabytes on your 5K iMac. No, please save your money, buy third-party RAM. You're gonna get the same performance that you would get from Apple. It's not gonna void your warranty or anything like that. It's easy to install, easy to remove if you want to, and it provides you, as you saw, with better performance and way more overhead to run all of your favorite apps. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.